Alright, here we go. This is a 2008 Dodge Grand Caravan. This is one of the big boys. What uh, the situation here is, is uh, they've changed the immobilizer on here and we got to reprogram uh, the new immobilizer and reprogram the keys back into the car. We're going to be using uh, a Star Mobile on this one here. You know, they say uh, if you're not feeling well, feeling confused and all of that, call a preacher. They say if you're hungry, call a cook. But if you got car problems, call a locksmith. Let's get it on. Okay, this is the module that was changed here on this car. And this module is where you put the key in. You see how big that opening is right there? Well, I'm going to show you what key goes into this 2008 Dodge Grand Caravan. This is the way the new one looks installed into the car. Now, when you take a look at the keys that's used, this is the, this is the phobic key right here. Looks just like the ones they use on Mercedes, and now on the new Volkswagen vans they use those two these uh, same looking kind of keys it's called a phobic that's Fox Oscar Baker India Kilo but that's what they look like and we're going to program not just the immobilizer but we're going to program these transponders back into the car we're going to be using the star mobile system again to do that there's that star right there so let's get clicking we got everything hooked up to the computer now we're gonna turn things on stand by there it is that's that star mobile coming up okay trying to communicate with the vehicle okay because I don't have it turned on. Let's see if we can get things rocking here. So you have to have the ignition turned on in order for the Star Mobile to communicate uh, with the car's computer. Now, something I didn't tell you yesterday uh, is now, the Star Mobile unit itself, it's more like an interface, okay? It allows the program that you are uh, using on your computer, your laptop, flow through it and it converts everything over so, that it, it, so you can receive and send data to the car's computer. You can use the Star Mobile in a standalone mode, a mode rather, to conduct diagnostics. But we're going to try to do some programming now. It's a wonderful thing here to be able, uh, I would say to be blessed, to be able to bring this uh, to you. Again, we're going to the ECU. And since they have changed the wireless control module on this vehicle, we're gonna be reprogramming. Notice at the top on the menu bar there, you see the year, you see a body style, There's the engine size and the vent. So we're gonna go down and notice on this car, the order of the modules, the various modules is in a different order, but we're going to the wireless control module, okay? And we're gonna go to miscellaneous functions. And we're going to replace that wireless control module. Okay? Now, 
Notice all the different things that um, that you can do here. Let me go backwards here, because somebody has tried to do something on this car, and uh, we get all of these problems now in this module. So we're gonna try to we're gonna try to get rid of some of these problems so that we can we can uh, start anew. So I'm going to try to clear these problems. Somebody's tried to do something. So we're going back in. Okay, well, let's try dealing with just programming the keys and the fobs. So we'll try doing that. Wow. Now, at this point, I'm going to consult with the shop supervisor because something else has occurred on this vehicle that we don't know about right now. But I can say uh, it is definitely, definitely, there's definitely a problem here. And the thing is, is you just you just don't want to just go into something and, 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 and you don't really know what's happening and you got to try to um, figure stuff out and all that kind of stuff because you're in the dark you're in the dark okay So if the car is in a it's in a lockout mode because somebody has tried to do something on this car that didn't have the right equipment and didn't know what they were doing. So now I'm gonna have to hook up a different piece of equipment to this car just to unlock this module. Okay, look at that. The wireless integrated module has exceeded the total number of false pin attempts and has entered the anti-scan lockout mode. Now this could normally take about an hour to do. I don't have an hour to spend on this car. So let me show you something else. We've come to what would be considered, I guess, the end of, 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 of a day of situations. And the thing that I was concerned about or concerned with with that Chrysler uh, that van. What happened is they had had another locksmith on the site who thought that he could actually go ahead and program the wireless control module in and program the phobic key into the car and so happens that I guess he didn't he didn't have all the type of equipment that he needed to do that. I showed you uh, what was necessary in order to do that kind of car. So without that, he was unable to perform that function. Yet some of the information that he entered into that unit was saved, and it basically rendered that unit unusable. The only
the other side to that coin would be that if the unit was defective, if it was defective, then that would also disallow programming of that unit, that wireless control module. One thing you have to remember, if you don't know the whole story, it makes it difficult to perform a function as is. One thing I probably should have recognized as kind of different was when the customer gave me the pin code. They've never done that before. So, you know, you kind of put things together, but you move right along knowing that you can also be successful in doing what you do. Now, we haven't been a failure yet at that. We're going to have to wait until they obtain uh, a new wireless control module. Then we'll go over and program things up as they should be and as they should have been. I consider it a blessing to be able to do the things that God has allowed me to do. To have the equipment and have gained experience and knowledge that he has blessed me with. It's like we said in the beginning, when you're feeling sick, feeling abused and used, you need direction, call a preacher. Feeling undernourished, hungry, call a cook. But nowadays, if you've got car problems, call your locksmith. So that's a word of encouragement to the locksmiths out there and those who are in the automotive security business and field. We have moved a long ways into a new era where the knowledge and the equipment required to work on various models are held by a certain group of people. And that group of people are the locksmiths. We're the ones now that have all of the equipment necessary to conduct programming and diagnostics on cars. The shops, the repair shops, can't afford to have it because they aren't guaranteed to see certain types of vehicles for long periods of time. So it's a lot simpler and easier and economical for them to just call their locksmith. So I'll say this again to you locksmiths out there, stay up, study up, learn up, practice up, be ready. Because when the call comes in, you're the man or woman of the hour. Be encouraged to be the best you are, the best you can be. There's no limit. Nowadays, today you may be considered a master. Tomorrow, you're like last year's computer. So stay up, continue to study. Thank you for this moment of your time.